Okay, so I've got my uh, CTC-11 chassis all prepped up. Just got kind of new caps carefully placed in there for different voltages like the doubler and the sweep and what have you. And I'm just going to do a, uh, a soft start, check some waveforms and make sure that it's ready to uh, power up. So uh, I've got my O-scope ready, I've got my Variac, uh, I've got my meter which also serves as a frequency counter. We're just going to slowly bring it up and uh, check some voltages. Turn the set on. Crank it up to 40 volts AC. Check and make sure I got my high voltages. Let's see, I got 130 there on the doubler side. Yep, 132 there, so I should have about 70 here. 66 is pretty close. Yeah, bring it up a little bit more. I don't have the horizontal output in this set right now, or the vertical, but everything's unloaded. And let's just do a check again here. It's 250, 250, 125. Okay, everything seems to be working. Come down here to our horizontal output. The oscillator's not running yet. Just gonna wait a little bit more here. We got uh, 240 on the screen. Oh, I gotta pull the audio output tube. There's no. Uh, Nothing loading down the secondary, the output transformer is not good to have a no load on it. It can hurt it. And so let's see here. Oscillator still isn't running. That's pin 7, that should be the grid of the horizontal output tube. We should be seeing something there. Pin 8. Let's take a look here. Pin the 8's our cathode. Focus, damn you. Focus. Oh, doesn't want to do it. And we've got our screen voltage. And we've got our grid voltage. Not yet. Okay, it could just be that we're not running at a high enough voltage. I'm going to crank up to 90 here. And what are we running now? 328 on the doubler side. Okay, come back here. Still nothing. Interesting. So, right now, the oscillator's not running. There's no bias on what would be the grid of the horizontal output tube. So, uh, <clears throat> I'd probably be severely hurting the horizontal output stage and or flyback. So, uh, we need to figure out why the set is not oscillating. And then, uh, we can go from there about seeing how the rest of the chassis works once we get that problem fixed.